Hey guys, Jack here. Today I'm gonna to give you a fairly comprehensive overview of Glide, right from the beginning all the way to publishing your first project. And then we'll cover two bonus items, which are totally optional, but will take your projects to the next level in terms of usefulness and power. Beyond that though, you may still find that you have questions. And for that, there are two places that I recommend you go, Glide University and the Community Forum. Glide University is a Glide app, our LMS built on Glide, where you can learn and read documentation, watch videos made by the Glide team and the community, all about building apps with Glide, right from the basics all the way up to advanced and niche topics that you'll find really interesting. Then there's also the community forum. Of course, I'm biased, but our community at Glide is absolutely second to none. We have an amazing response rate with very, very talented and interesting people in there who will respond to you really quickly and give you answers for the specific functionality that you're trying to build. It's really worth dropping a line in there, just saying hello, introducing yourself and saying what you're building and people will have some good stuff to give you. So with that, let's dive into the tutorial. So this is the dashboard where you manage the teams that you belong to and then the apps inside of those teams. On the left here, we can see that I'm a member of this team, which is called my team, production and this agency, and I can create new teams whenever I want. Inside of each team, we can manage the templates, which are just the internal templates for the team, the billing, the usage of our apps and the different members. Now, the members are different to the users of your apps. For example, if I invite five people to this team in the members area, they will act as admins and they can build projects with me. They'll have access to everything that I add in Glide. But for example, if we were rolling out this field sales app to 200 people in my organization, I would do this inside of this project. So we have team members who are the builders and then we have the users of the project and we'll do that later. So let's create a new app from scratch. So I'm going to call this inventory and I'm going to just choose the mobile layout, but we can change this later. This is just the way that it loads. Glide apps work on the web. They're responsive. They work on any device. This is just the way that we're going to preview it. Now, first of all, we're asked to choose a data source. Glide is a very data driven design tool in that we always start from data and then we work with that data in layout. It's a very powerful way to build. We're going to start by importing importing an Excel file and Glide is going to convert this to Glide tables, which is Glide's built-in native data source. And it's best for performance. So Glide is going to take this data, bring it into the data editor, and then create a default app as a starting point. And we can see here that we've got the basics. We navigate around Glide using this top bar and it's grouped into three primary editors. The data editor, which is like the back end of your project, which is where you bring in your app's data from different sources, manage it, enhance it, and structure it in the right way. Then you have the layout editor, which is where you can add new screens, components, preview your app just as your users would use it on different devices. This is a responsive screen here, so you can see kind of roughly how things will look at different scales. And then you have the action editor, which is where you manage integrations, automations, and things like that. This is out of scope for this tutorial. Today, we're going to look primarily at data and layout. There's also the settings area, which is where you manage things like privacy, sign in screens, and simple stuff to do with appearance. I'm just going to change the accent color so that we can have something that's a little bit more on brand with these images. 